All right, I've been to Spud Inc. in South Carolina. I've been to Fringe Sport in Austin, Texas. But there is a high quality exercise equipment supplier right here in the Atlanta, Georgia area, about an hour away from my house, and I've never been there. Well, today that changes because I'm about to take a tour of Lynx Barbell, and I'm gonna take you with me right after this. Hey guys, we're gonna go back to the video you were watching in just a second, but I just wanna give you a quick reminder that Garage Gym Life Media is sponsored by you. We don't have any big names backing us. Instead, you are the reason why we can do what we do. And the easiest way for you to support us and help us to continue to do that is by visiting our merch store, which you can find by going to the bottom of this video right there and checking out our store shelf. We have merch like this, that's got a home gym perspective, as well as motivational shirts like this, which are good for fitness lovers, no matter whether they have a home gym or not. But regardless of which shirt you choose, just know that when you shop our store, you are helping us bring you live streams as well as the freshest home gym content available. As always, thank you for your support. I'm John hey. Greaves III, and I am the founder of Garage Gym Life, man. Thanks for letting me come down here and check out your place. Welcome. Glad you're here. I'm Greg, the manager of Link. Uh, appreciate you coming out. Oh, man. I have wanted to come and check this place out. And it's one of those things is it's easy to forget that we have an equipment supplier right here in Metro Atlanta. We got people going all out of state. I myself have traveled to other states. I'm kicking myself when I see all of the stuff that you guys have in here, man. Like, what is the one thing that would be the signature thing that somebody said, well, tell me, what's the deal? Why should I come to Lynx? What, what would you tell them? That's really a good question. So what I would say for us, our prices are very competitive on everything, if not a little lower, but it's the customer service. And we're gonna go that extra mile for you. We'll deliver a lot of times if it's within reason uh, for free. And wow. you can also pick up for free here. You can come here, you can shop in the warehouse, you don't need an appointment. We're uh, Monday through Friday, so we, we try to be make uh, customer service our, our main goal to keep you coming back. I mean, I gotta tell you, man, I've heard some really good things about you guys. In fact, Dr. Kristen Lander, we did a tour of her shed. She's got a, a shed, uh, she's turned into a gym, and we did a tour of that shed, and she, and I was asking her about the equipment she had, and she said, oh yeah, I got it from Lynx Barbell in Atlanta. And I was like, you're in South Carolina? She said, yeah, I drove there to get it. I said, wow, really? So you guys gotta be doing something right for people to drive here from South Carolina to pick up equipment. We've Does that got, happen a lot? Yeah, yeah, we've got, I can think of a couple of people off the top of my head, that are South Georgia, almost Florida. Oh, wow. They'll call up here and order a big order for their gym and drive up here. And it, it's, it saves them money, even driving three hours or so. Yeah, because you're saving on shipping. I mean, barbells weigh a lot. Yeah. Plates weigh, well, they're weights, yeah. right? <laughs> so it's in the name. Okay. So yeah, yeah we have, there's a Tennessee, everybody around, uh, we get people come here a lot. and we, But we still ship all over the United States. Okay. So, and you were telling me that this is basically like a family-run operation. It's like, it's you work here. I think you said your daughter works here. Uh, man, you, your grandson sometimes is running around. That's the kind of place a lot of people want to shop at because you've got like those, uh, I guess, small town values. Even though we're in Metro Atlanta, you got the small town values. So uh, walk me around here and show me what you guys have. And you know, all right, first we, of all, what's this? So oh, this, um, I'm kind of proud of this. This is our jump rope handle. These so we, this isn't an Indian club? No, no. Yes, you could. <laughs> protection, depending on where you go in the country these days. Indian club? You know? No? Okay. No. Uh, but yeah, these are uh, custom-made uh, jump rope handles. They're okay. made right here, about two miles down the road. Oh, wow. Okay. Every bit of it is molded and cut all the way down to uh, even every little part is made right okay. here in Georgia, in, in Atlanta. And so just forgive my ignorance, but you basically, then you guys supply the rope and then you would just pick out whatever kind of yeah, rope you want. Yeah, we've got one right here. That's, a, that's an old one, but yeah, we supply the line, the rope okay. that goes for it, two different ways it goes in. I'll show you this right here. One, you can go through the top and then back through so okay. you don't need anything. And you just crimp it. It just crimps it, or okay. we'll give you the part that goes in and you uh, tighten kind of it down. Kind the like, needle, okay. Yeah, like a lot of jump ropes are. Okay. So you got two different ways to uh, just whatever you to do feel it. like doing. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. I like that. So we, we designed and, that, and then the pinch so. you can get out your car. Yep, if you have to. Nice. Yep. Okay. Little EDC. All right, and then of course you also have some of the bigger brands there. I see the, the Lockjaw collars. That's a well-known brand. Yeah, those are real popular. Uh, and here's another jump rope we have. It's okay. got our Lynx brand on there. 
Okay. Uh, and we, we carry a lot of uh, tactical gear, okay. so to speak. Uh, Condor products. So I like rucking Condor. and stuff rucking, like that. Rucking, backpacking, okay. gotcha. uh, fanny packs, okay. uh, gun pouches. We we'll, we'll carry some of those. Uh, I used Condor myself when I was in the military. Okay. I buy my own. Right. And oh, I yeah. Just, Condor's great. And what people don't realize, whenever you say, oh, like military grade, to somebody who's actually in the military, that means it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so you actually, so you go buy your own stuff. Yeah, That's definitely. right. I never used the backpack they gave me. Yeah, I bought no, my own. Oh, heck yeah. So yeah, now when I was in the Marine Corps, we used ammo cans for a lot of things. I have never seen an ammo can chalk holder, but I like it. This has been, this has been pretty popular. We've gone through a bunch of these chalk holders, or you can, you know, whatever you want to put in it, but we call it a chalk holder, and, yeah. and it's, it's pretty it's neat. Sweet. It's a little yeah. different. I like that. All right, so let's see. So you got your barbells. What would you say is the signature uh, of a Lynx barbell? Because I mean, the name is Lynx barbell, so this right. kind of is your baby. It's the spin okay. on the barbell. Oh, that's nice. We, yeah, it, it's really smooth. Uh, the knurling is quite—I say quite different. It's yeah. uh, pronouncedly different in between the black and the chrome. Yeah, I can feel that. This this is more aggressive than this is. Okay. So you know. We've seen a change in the barbells. The chrome used to be what everybody wanted. Yeah, now they want. And now they want a different look. Right. The knurling's a little different. They, they like the grip. We're going to be moving away from our imported barbells. We've got big cell limb. Get, that's got pretty good spin, too. Yep, get, get rid of that. Look at that, that's nice. How smooth that sounds. And you guys are upgrading this to a better one. I actually think we are. Wow. The uh, American made this one here training bar yeah it's uh the smaller because it's just for a training training yeah. bar seven but kilo. we will be carrying about i can't remember off the top of about six or seven different types of barbells okay. instead of basically the two now 15k 20k black and all chrome okay we're going to have a, a power bar a short i was going to ask bar. you that you could have power bars i thought they had been here before you got here because oh, they're due power bar uh a cerakote okay like five six different colors uh, What's the knurling going to be like on those? Uh, it's going to be very similar to this. We okay. had, uh, yeah. All yeah. Right. So this, the training bar, as you can feel the, the American-made training bar and the imported, yeah. it's a little more pronounced than the imported. Yeah. A little more grip. Oh, yeah. This is slick. Yeah, it's, this it's, is, it's slick. This, is, this, this is definitely has a little bit more, like, just grip to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then so this, it's this going to definitely. be very much similar to this. I mean, like the knurling on this is not super, super aggressive, I wouldn't say. It's not going to be something like, especially if uh, if you're looking for something like, let's say you hook grip, and you're looking for something that's going to not be too aggressive in your hands, if it's entry level or whatever, I would probably use something like this. It's not a big deal. And then you can get something more aggressive later on down the road, but this would probably be like a good entry level bar. I, I, would, I would say this would be good because it feels comfortable in my hand as I'm uh, putting my thumb under here, and it's not going to tear it up too bad, you know, especially especially if you use like some simple common sense hand care stuff. Right. You guys have your own brand of kettlebells here? Yep. Say, What's uh, the heaviest you guys carry? Oh man, the heaviest is going to be the 48K. Okay, okay. And you're more than welcome to demo the 48K. <laughs> you see how people like to push my buttons, right? <laughs> this is it, right? Yes, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, this is the sort of thing that happens when you don't warm up. <laughs> there you go. You're a better man than me. I'm going to stick with the eight. Remember that, friends. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever doubt me again. <laughs> well, I, I went down you. <laughs> no, nah, okay, so. But yeah, the reason I ask that is because a lot of times when you go to kettlebell suppliers, they don't go as high as 48. Yeah. You know, a lot of places they go 42, uh, 36. We don't sell a whole lot of the those, right. but we, we have them in. We keep enough on stock because they do sell. And see, the reason I think that a lot of places don't like to carry the, the bigger ones is because of shipping. Yes. But you guys deliver, so... Yeah. Gotcha. You gotcha. know, I'm not a big fan of having to pick them up, put them on my truck. I noticed but I that. Will, I noticed. Will, you see that? I will with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about these mats. Do you guys yeah. uh, customize the mats? Yeah. Let me tell you, these are these are pretty neat. We've done several of these. These, uh, it's not. I mean, these are just samples of what it can look of like. Of course. Yeah. So right there on the floor, that's one that, that one of the first ones we did. So if I wanted to put the Garage Gym Life logo, this logo right there. Yep. On that. Yep. I could do that. Yep. 
We're going to talk e- after this email, video over. Email it to me, and I'll uh, pick the kind of mat you want size, right. and I'll have it put on there in, a, in proof, right. and you'll approve the proof, and when it's done, it's not that expensive, depending on the size of the mat. Okay. We'll ship it to you. You don't even have to come here to get it. We'll ship it to you. Nice, but we, nice. we've done several of these. Nice, and, uh, I like that. Yep. So you guys heard that. So you, I know you, a lot of you guys have your own home gym and you want to customize it. And one of the easy ways to customize your gym is to make your floor mats look a little bit different. So now you know Lynx Barbell will ship it. They will put your logo on it. And that's something that you don't see a lot of places. I mean, you can find banners. Heck, we sell banners. But you don't often see custom floor matting. So keep that one in mind. Some folks like if you got your home gym, you need some space. And yeah, and space is always a premium. Yeah. yeah. So this will fit like a concept too? Yes. Okay. Okay. What's this right there? So that this is a bar barbell holder. We call it our shotgun rack. Oh, okay. Four, I see it now. Three, four, yeah, five, I thought six. it. So yeah. what I thought was it like it was like it was scissored together. <laughs> oh, it's a gun rack. Okay, yeah, that like makes sense. Yeah, I got you. Got okay. Link's brand in the side of. These are made in uh, in Alabama. Okay. Um, so Alabama Laser is the uh, company we use that cuts some cuts and. Uh, our rigs and everything for us, color whatever color okay. we want, they'll do that, and they do uh, the gun rack. All right, so this is your warehouse. You are not going to run out of stock anytime soon. Well, we, we still got room for more stuff. We have a lot of stuff coming in, okay. and I don't know where we're going to put it. We share a warehouse with the owner of Lynx and his other company. Wow. So okay. our bays are from here on down. Okay. You see, top to bottom is full. Yeah. We've got. That's good news for the customers, though, because, yeah. hey. So you, you were telling me that you guys, that you specifically will actually deliver here in Metro Atlanta for free. Um, I'm, I'm assuming within a reasonable radius. Yeah, I'll, it, when the orders come in, I'll look and see, number one, yeah, do I have anything going on that day or that next day? Also, it depends on the product, too, and how much. If you order, you know. You order a lot. If you order, if you yeah. order one kettlebell. Yeah. I'm not going to go to the other side of the land. Right. But if you a good order, I get it on my truck, I'll take it. Anything but uh, the rubber gym mats. Okay. Uh, I, can, I will put those on my truck. Gotcha. But I do a lot of delivery, especially governments. Right. Because uh, they do big orders. I'll make three or four trips. Okay. Because that, that's customers. And I don't charge anything for it. Right, right, right. It's, when I retired from what I was doing before, when I right. came in here, I said, I can't sit in the office. Yeah. And I know from... Uh, being in business, wife and have some other businesses, customer service, even if prices go up, good customer service will bring people back. Oh, definitely. And so that's, that's what we're about. Okay. Okay, so you guys, you've mentioned a lot of American-made products. You, you talked about the jump rope that's made right down the street. You mentioned Alabama Laser. Uh, uh, are you guys making a conscious decision to use more American-made products? We, we actually are. Uh, for a couple reasons, uh, one, shipping is so expensive, but you know this is where we live. Yeah. And being a small business, and my wife and I have other small businesses, I would rather support companies right. here. You know, I mean, plus country. QCR is hard. You know, quality control when somebody is a thousand miles away. You know, that first batch they give you that might be great. The third batch may not be so hot. Right. You can't fly back over there to scold them. We experienced that with our bumper plate stackers. Okay. They were they shipped us tons of them over here that we had ordered, but didn't weld them. Oh, wow. I had to go in and do all the welding. Because if we ship them back, you know, yeah. now we're another eight months down the road exactly. or a year before we get them. And you can't give them to customers. So can't yeah. give them to customers that way. So we all re-weld them myself, and they, you know, more work, but... I don't yeah. charge them for it. Definitely. Because Definitely. that's our fault, picking the manufacturer. Right. But yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're moving away from our, uh, our foreign barbells, also our bumper plates. Okay. We're going to be all yeah, you were telling American me about pretty that. soon. Okay, so like these flex ones right here, you said these are made in Kentucky, Yeah, I yeah these red flex, I think, are, are made in Kentucky. Okay. Uh, uh, they got our... Our links on both sides says Made in the USA on it. Okay, nice. The Red Fleck has actually turned out to be our best seller. We're se- selling our Red Fleck two to one. Wow. Not just to And this comes in all sizes? Yeah, yeah okay. all sizes, up to 45. All right. Not only just individuals, big gems are buying from us now. Okay. See, like, and we will carry Red Fleck and all black. Okay. Once we run out of our, uh, our imported black bumpers, we won't carry them anymore. 
So you keep, you've brought this up a couple times that you are getting rid of the imported stock. Are you guys having sales on stuff to try to kind of clear it out? I know Labor Day is coming up, so we're filming this on Thursday. Labor Day is this weekend. So you guys gonna, I know you're having a sale anyway, but specifically to help clear out some of the stuff? Yeah, so what we're doing on every Wednesday, we call it our walk-in Wednesday. 5% off anything in the store. Some day late. That's yeah, you say like, but you can come back next Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks. There, is another, there will be another Wednesday. There'll be more Wednesdays. All right, write that down. <laughs> so, we, so we are coming back Wednesday. Sell on everything except our rigs okay. and our Concept Two products. Okay. Uh, because we make almost nothing on Concept Two. We just want to carry it. Right. And our rigs are custom. Right. So we we don't do that. Now, people use these water cans, I'm assuming, like for farmer carries and things like that. Do you guys supply competitions? We actually uh, did a uh, senior competition in Snellville, Georgia, not too long ago. Okay. Supplied them with a, a bunch of stuff. But yeah, we, we sell these. These are pretty good. It's kind of a, a generic, easy workout. Yeah. Uh, but also, you got emergency water if you need it. Um, tell me about these little uh, vests here for. Uh, I'm assuming they're for rucking and things like that as well. And is that? Uh, yeah. So it's not a sappy blade, by the way. We talked about that earlier. Yeah, this is, I've had people ask, could they put it in their bulletproof vest? I'm like, no. There's a big Lynx yes. logo right there, so let's don't do that. All it's right. It's not meant for that. Uh, but, but you guys are using no condor. Condor carries. products. Okay. All our uh, vests are condor. A lot of CrossFit folks use them. Hikers. I use it. Getting ready to do the Appalachian. Uh, we have our own plates done. Okay. It's got our logo. Uh, from threes, fives, up to eight and a half pounds. Nice. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you, in, with these vests, you can put two, some of the vests, even three plates, depending on how heavy you want to go, right. how much you want to go. Okay. Uh, our best seller that we go through a lot is the gunner vest, the Condor gunner. And okay. I think it's just because it's a kind of a hybrid of the, the side panel is easy to control, easy to adjust. Yeah. Uh, but and they all look like they're fairly modular, so that you can add oh, things yeah. to them. You know, oh, yeah. that's what's really cool. And, and we do carry uh, dump pouches that go in there because we get law enforcement, a lot of law enforcement and, uh, shooters yeah. come in here. People that like target shooting. Do you get a lot of people who like? Because I know that law enforcement has um, shooting competitions, things that are tactical competitions. You know, where they like. I know there's like a firefighter games. There's a, a law enforcement games, things like that. You guys have would supply stuff like that yeah, as we well? Yeah, we would. Okay. Okay. I've supplied some stuff for some uh, local police departments, doing some uh, testing and some shooting with some of the targets we have behind you. Okay. Uh, we've done that for them. Like SWAT events and things yeah. like that as well? Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, a lot of SWAT That's events. That's awesome. Admat is, they, these guys revolutionized. I still remember when they, the Admat came out and I saw it advertised in Iron Man magazine. They had the Ad Bench and the Admat. And it's just crazy that something so simple has lasted so long. It's yeah. like it's it's everywhere, man. We yeah, I, I like this. So how much do these go for? Uh, Assuming it's not a Wednesday. Thirty one ninety nine. Okay. A little little cheaper on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Five cent cheaper on Wednesday. You, you know what? He just told me I was too early for the barbells, but I was too late for the sale. So I managed to be early and late at the same time. That's the kind of experience you can only get on this channel. <laughs> These kind of look familiar. I haven't seen these since I got out the Marine Corps. Yeah, you normally don't see these in a uh, gym equipment no, store. I would they're, say that they're, you don't. They're uh, Grizzly targets. They're made in Florida. Okay. And we supply them to uh, law enforcement. We got a good deal. You buy, you know, a certain amount. All these are tested. We got sports shooters. Okay. They come in, you know, for sporting and yeah. for, you know, just good trite. And the thing is, again, that people don't think about it, but there are competitions that involve, have a shooting component. And so if you're going to get into more tactical sports, you're going to need to, once again, practice it, you know. There's only so many times the neighborhood association is going to let you shoot at that berm in the back of your yard. So <laughs> just don't do it. What is something that you wish people knew about Lynx, but that I wouldn't even know to ask you? We get a lot of questions about maintaining barbells. What do mm. I need to do? We clean them. You bring them to us, usually within a day, we'll have them in and out. I don't care where you bought it from. Okay. We have had to invent ways to take apart other people's barbells. Okay. We'll take them apart, we'll clean them the best we can. If we can replace parts, if it needs it, we will. Okay. And it's not that expensive, like 25 bucks a barbell. Uh, but you gotta maintain them. Folks yeah. will just ignore them. The powder on the hands, the sweat, and they're that ruins spin. your spin, yeah. It'll ruin the spin, it'll it'll mess it up, and it won't last. Barbell should last forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if somebody wants to 
check out your Labor Day sale, or if they just want to find out more about your business, how can they get in touch with Lynx Barbell? Get in touch with Lynx Barbell. We're on Instagram, Lynx Barbell. Uh, we have a website, lynxbarbell.com. Uh, send us a message. Me or Val will answer and respond and hopefully get you an answer within an hour or two.